ask questions so that you can teach better. Hello, this is Pastor Marvin McKenzie from Bible Baptist Church of Puyallup, Washington. I want to welcome you to today's daily visit with God. Uh, let me read Acts chapter 19, verses 1 and 2. The Bible says, It came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. So I think it was R.A. Torrey who speculated that Paul questioned whether these disciples were filled with the Holy Ghost because there were only 12 of them. Torrey fell into the same trap as most in that he equated numbers with the presence of God's power. This idea has, in my opinion, created the environment of worldly compromise that we see in churches to, in so many churches today. The more common error, though, that springs from this passage is that of the Pentecostals and Charismatics uh, they see this passage as instructing them to in urge people to do, uh, who do not speak in tongues to be filled with the Holy Ghost and therefore speak in tongues. The two errors are similar in that they both look for some outward evidence of an inward work. I believe the lesson of the passage is much more basic than that. Paul approached a group of professing believers and he asked them questions to determine how he might most effectively help them. You know, the ministry ought to be about taking people from where they are spiritually to somewhere else. Whether it was the heathen philosophers of Athens or these would-be believers in Ephesus, Paul made observations and asked questions so that he might best determine how to preach to them and to help them spiritually. I want to thank you for watching this Bible study video today and, and ask if you've been helped by the lesson. Would you please help me out by clicking like on this video, that little thumbs up on the bottom. And then if you haven't subscribed, I'd like to ask you to do that as well. Share with your family and friends so that they can benefit from the teaching of God's word. And until next time, God bless.